another king has come up on the limelight. And you'll be wondering, is it for good or for bad? I'm talking about Obaya Elegoshi. You know, most of the Obas right now, they ever since politicians started controlling and dictating to them, ever since they've become political kings, ever since governors install kings, we've been seeing a lot of drama. And even the ones that governors did not install, you know, we have, we, have, we have seen a lot of drama, either women drama and women, it's always women drama, this drama and all of these um, terrible atrocities that we see. Well, I think it comes with the, you know, status as a king. Obele Gushi used to have a wife. You know, this is a woman who, according to what we all know, struggled with him even before he, the, the advent, even before the thought of being king. Maybe some people must have told him you become king. We are saying crown on your head and all of that. But you know how many um, prince that has crowns on their head. It doesn't mean that um, they will eventually become king. Having crown on your head doesn't mean you become king. So somehow Obeleguchi became king, and we are talking of a king that has money. Why? Based on the location that he is king. Based on that place, you know, Lagos Island is always you know, very viable and there is a lot to gain as king there. He doesn't even, he doesn't even need to look at the money that the state governor is going to pay him and all of that. Um, with all of the land that they sell, that they hijack from people and many other things that they get, definitely Obeligushi is going to have a lot of money coming into his pocket. Now, the woman that Obeligushi was with that struggled with him all of his years before this fame she's called olori sheki and um, what we know right now is that um, obai legushi has two wives i don't know maybe the reason they decide to bring in two women is so as to um, stop them from extramarital affairs do not forget that even when they were together with the, when he was with the sheki there's a possibility that he will often have girlfriends out there and now he doesn't want to keep up with that kind of life having girlfriends it is better he brings in these women home once and for all and stick with them. I said, okay, if this one is on a period, I go with the other one. Uh, if the other one is on a, you know, like that, right, left and center. Or if there is a kind of argument or something, I don't know, you know, there are certain things or maybe some rituals, uh, you know, something like that. Or it is just, I'm a king, I can have more. And many of them do not stop at two. Many of them do not stop at two. They had more. They had more, they had more, and they had more, and they keep giving birth to children. Don't forget that they even have the resource for it. Now, there is something that a lot of people started looking into. You know, the first wife, Sheki, had three daughters, three girls for Obelegushi. And most of the time, they always need an arole, they need a, a boy child. Now, this new one that came, you know, people said, oh, the first wife, has been there struggling and all of that you know that is what the normal talk oh she has been struggling struggling it could be that she was not even struggling nothing it could be that the young man i mean Elegushi before he became king was okay was even taking care of his wife and all of that but that is the normal talk they will say oh she was the one that was there when there was nothing she was the one that was struggling and now another woman has brought her house down there to sit down in the well she got pregnant the second wife and gave back to the first boy and you know what happened they lost that boy and all eyes and fingers were pointed in the direction of the first wife olori sheki they said oh you are the one who is not happy that your husband of course no woman will be happy i've always said it um a woman might say all right i'm used to it um my father had like four or five women and we all lived together there was peace and all of that yes for you as a child you might see it in that way but the truth is that there is no way that a man will have harems have multiple women and all of the women will feel we are all right unless they just see themselves as object, something to just put in the house. You know, it's not something that just works like that. So there is a possibility that they must have agreed or the woman might say, no, I'm not accept. You cannot marry. It's just me alone. I have to be like this. If you bring somebody else, then it's going to be a problem and all of that. And the man will be like, ah, I'm going to bring somebody else. Conflict begins. Quarrel begins. Problem begins. Trouble begins. Because it's just, just not going to work. If a woman knows that, oh, you just left the room of the other person and I have been here, unless maybe you met them almost similar time. Just look at um, the ones that are not even royalty or king. Look at Annie Idibia. I'm talking of, uh, um, you, you know, Mr. Idibia that we all know. 
to face. Look at even the other women are not even living with the husband. They just that you oh baby mama or they did introduction whatever. Look at what she's saying. I came first. I know him first. But my children are not the first children. My children are the last children. My children are this and that. So these things are just clear. So with the death of this child, it's more or less like people are saying, oh, maybe it's the first wife who did it. Maybe she didn't do it. Maybe it is God fighting for her. Maybe she made sure that there is no boy because it's 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 strange. And the three other girls are grown up. So she must have stopped giving birth to children like okay what do you need for why don't we just keep trying to see if we'll have a boy why do you have to get somebody else to give you a boy and you know any woman that has a boy child still in africa they still have that thought and mentality that anyone who has a boy child has it all because it's that child that will keep and have the name of the man and there's a possibility that that child will become king so she knows the first wife already knew that she has been served the wrong plate she knows that her children will never become king. It's not possible. They are, they are, they are, they are girls, they are ladies. Her children will not become king. So the person that will bring the boy is the one that will bring the heir to the throne. So that already I know is a problem and it's something that the Olori Sheki will not want to deal with. It's like, no, this is not so. We have to keep it like, and the man will be like, so you think I'm going to die without having a boy? And maybe she cannot have children anymore. Or maybe she had those three children um, using cesarean and they cannot even try anymore. So it's like they are in between it. The man has taken up a title. Back then when he made the promise, that's why it's very, uh, we have to be very careful when we make promises because we don't know what will become of our life in the next future. He is a king. His status has changed. Everything has changed about him. He was an ordinary man before. Maybe you say, I, Children are children. Of course, we have three girls, so it's better we train them and the woman feels relaxed. But now that he has taken that title, automatically, the woman will know that with this title comes some other challenges and responsibility. This man will want to kind of get uh, in a, a boy child. And since I cannot, if I went through cesarean, he will have to look for somebody else to do it, somebody else to produce a child. That is just what it is. So she already knows. She's just going to be doing a little bit of agidia and shout and scream. So as to make sure that the other woman does not just feel like, yes, I'm here and I'm here and I'm here totally. And that's the end of it. So there is this, you know, possibility that if she's not careful, I'm talking about the Oloriseki, if she's not careful, she might be chased out of the palace because like I said, all eyes and fingers are pointed at her. Like you are the cause of the death of that child probably you went through some you know process to make sure that that child is gone and gone and gone and that's it because you don't want a, any you don't want an a, a, a boy child a heir to the throne you want to maintain like okay you want to have a woman let us see if you will have a child and you know what it is if a man goes into this kind of battle with a woman um it's it's not always easy it's not always easy to fight it and win